Hi guys, today we're taking a look at one of the latest products from a company called Govi. This is their Govi Glide wall light. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I'll be unboxing this, setting it up, and showing you around the different options you have on this. So let's begin with seeing what you get in the packaging. In the packaging, you get a user guide, you get a quick start guide, and you get a customer support card. You get a power adapter, length of the cable on this is 144 centimeters, DC connector on there, cable quality feels good, and the output on this is 12 volts, 3 amps. You get a control box, and one end of this has a cable for the DC connection, and the other end has a connector for the light bars. The length end to end comes in at around 120 centimeters. So the small part here is 12 and a half centimeters. Then you've got seven and a half centimeters. And the longer part here is 100 centimeters. You've got sticky pads on each of the parts here. So you can attach it easily onto a wall. And just to show the connector on the end, you've got a small hole here. And that looks like the microphone pickup point. And general build quality of this feels good. Next we have the wall lights, so you get six of these long bars, each one is 30 centimeters long and you get one corner piece here. You can mix and match things around as you prefer and both the items have sticky pads on there. Connecting them up is pretty easy, literally just a matter of taking it and then just to show, clicks into position. And to remove it, if I carefully move it, it just comes out. Now with any sort of products like this, always worth laying it out and testing it out before you install it in case there's any problems with this. I'm not saying there will be problems, but it's good to test them out first. The general build quality of this film is good, strong plastic all the way around, and you've got like a diffuser area here, so the lights coming through there don't sort of glare out. It has their RGB IC technology built into it, so you can have multiple colors on the strips. So let's get this connected up. So we'll do one corner piece first. I've connected the light bars together and just leaned them against the wall so the wall's all white so it gives you a better idea of the colours coming off it. Next let's turn it on. Now it's powered on, let's move on to the app. So I'm at my Android phone, the app you're after for this is Govi Home. I've already got it installed, it's just over here. These are my other Govi products. If you're using it for the first time, you won't see anything in there. So now if I click plus, so let me search for the model. It's H6062 Glide Wall Light. So I'll select that. Need to enable Bluetooth. And there you go, it's found it straight away. Select it. So this is the default name it's been given. So we can rename that. I'll call it Wall Light. Done to that. You can add it onto your Wi-Fi network. And just to note, it only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So if you're having any issues adding this in, just disable your five gigahertz Wi-Fi, add it in, and then you can enable your five gigahertz afterwards. I've entered my Wi-Fi password, done to that. And there we have it, as simple as that to get added in on the app. So let's run through the options you have. So you've got settings here in the corner. You can rename it here, device safety, so this is an interesting one. So if you enable this, other people can't connect to this. So it just keeps it more secure. Wi-Fi settings can be changed here and it can connect to both the Amazon voice control product and Google Assistant side of things. Basic details are here. So firmware version, hardware version, Mac address and the model number for this and you can delete it from here. Back from there, then you've got an on off button. Easy way to turn it on and off. Effects lab. So these are some basic effects on different items. See if for instance, I go to natural, you can see for yourself, you've got cloud and different colors associated with a cloud. So you can just quickly flip between them rather than trying to find it yourself. Back from here, then you've got timer option, basic timers. So you can have it turning on and off during certain periods. So you can have a wake up timer on this where the brightness gradually gets brighter and brighter in the morning, or even when you're sleeping, you can set a timer to gradually get darker and darker and then completely off. And really useful to have if you had this in your bedroom. Back from here, next we have brightness, and obviously you can just dim it down. You can see for yourself, brightness levels are really good from there. Then we have light bars refresh. So this is a situation where you've removed one or two of the bars and you're not limited to just using what's there. You can reduce the number down. Below that, we've got mode. So first of all, we've got music mode. And looking at the options, you've got two microphone options. So you can use the microphone on your phone. So if I flip over to this, 
that's using the microphone on my phone and you can see for yourself it's moving along and if I flip back to the option you have or the microphone on the control box you get six options for different music sync and below that you've got sensitivity levels and auto color and if I turn that off it's just a single color you can change that to a specific one and let's turn back auto color and let's test out the different music sync modes with some music There you go, looks really cool when in action. Let's now try out the color mode. Now with this wall light, you've got segmented control on here, which is really cool. So you can pick out certain segments and change the color on there. So let's demonstrate this by first selecting all the segments, turning off all the lights. That's the other thing you can do as well. All the segments can be turned off. Even the brightness level can be adjusted. So now if I deselect, pick one segment and pick a color, so there you go, greens appeared on there and take down the brightness, take it up. So pretty impressive that you can pick segments, set the color and change the brightness levels and even turn them off. Now, if I pick another one, see for yourself, color quality is good on here. Now I've got the brightness really low only because of the camera, so it picks it up better, but I'll turn it up onto full. See for yourself, really good. So if I keep it low, hopefully it will give a better representation of the colors on there. And if I select all of them, pick a single color, pick a couple of them, change the color on there. Now scrolling below, you've got warm white, cool white as well. There we have it representation of the color is very good on here then you've got your color wheel standard sort of govi options play about this and just get the precise color you want scrolling across got some names associated and blocks for the colors scrolling again just got a color palette on this back from there in my colors you can see your palette of colors you've already selected and that's all the color options you have it's all for yourself a lot of customization available on this so really impressive how it works and looking in scene you can see the different scenes they've got predefined so let's click through them briefly just to give you an idea ocean see it's sort of breathing away forest subtle sort of movement in colors sunset glow I'm going to flip over to rainbow looks really good not sure how much justice the camera is giving it but when you're in front of it, it looks absolutely stunning. Let's move over to desert. Flower field, meteor, aurora, and stream. I do like the rainbow effect. I think that's really stunning when you see that. Now, I'm not going to click through all of the others. So just to show what you get, lots of them. Let's click through that one. It looks great and now if we go over to DIY this is where you can customize it and create your own scenes with this so clicking on that click on the plus and you can name it obviously give it an icon put it in a group and go through the different effects so you're not limited to just using one effect you can select the different ones as you're going along and then you've got the color selection options too so a lot of customization available on this and really impressed with the facilities you get on this. Next, just to show what happens if you've disconnected some of the light bars. So I've disconnected two of them. So we've got a smaller section now and looking in the app, scrolling down the colors, you can see a grayed out region, meaning 
it's not detecting those light bars. So this is how you'll continue to see it with the grayed out region, meaning it can be extended up to that. The light bars are limited to a maximum of six on a single power supply. So you can reduce it down, but you can't increase it any further. If you're wondering if the light bars are bright enough to brighten up an entire room, it's not too bad. It's like having a lamp in your room. So just to show around here, I've got my blinds closed and it just gives off a nice bit of ambient light in the background. This is with all the light bars connected and brightness level is set on the maximum to 100% with this. Just to highlight the sticking system they're using on this. So one side's a sticky pad and the side that goes on to the light bar is a Velcro attachment. So quite interesting how they've done it, quite impressed and it is reusable. If you pull it off carefully, it shouldn't cause any damage on a wall. And you can see if I push it on, it sticks back on there. So I quite like how they've designed this. So in summary, really impressed with the light bars from Govi. Quality of the lighting looks really good. Love the segmented control side of it. So the RGB IC. Flexibility is there as well. So you don't have to use all the wall lights. You can use a certain number. Just a, you can go with one if you wanted to really. There's nothing restricting you, but you can't expand it any further than the corner with six bars, which isn't a big deal really. If you wanted to expand it, just buy another kit. I like the fact it's got the music sync option on there and it can work both off the control box on the product or even the microphone on your phone. Usage wise, make a great addition in your living room if you wanted a feature on a certain area to light up the room rather than using a lamp or even in the bedroom if you just wanted ambient light just behind your bed with a diffuser on there the light quality is really good too perfect in a gaming setup so if you wanted it behind your desk or even behind a tv gives a nice amount of light and fully adjustable with brightness levels and color selection so there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.